determinant of a matrix. You will find this on page 565 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. The determinant of a matrix. The determinant of a matrix is a special number that can be calculated from a square matrix. The matrix, can you remember what's a square matrix? It's like a 2 by 2 or a 3 by 3. The rows will be equal to the columns. The matrix must be square, same number of rows and columns. In this section, we will only find the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. We denote the determinant of a matrix A by, we make vertical lines around the A, or we write DET and then we can make the brackets A. Determinants are used in inverse matrices and the solutions of simultaneous equations. Let's just look. If A, if it's A, B, C and D, then the determinant will be there. Can you see the vertical lines? Can you see? So what I do is I use the diagonal. I multiply the diagonal numbers and I subtract the other diagonal numbers. But start from this one, from the left, diagonal down, from the right, diagonal down and it's a subtraction and remember the determinant is a single number so if I look at this one 4 times 2 it's 8 put it in brackets otherwise you can get confused with the negatives bracket negative 3 times 1 so this is going to be 8 minus negative 3 and now you can just do a normal calculation a negative times a negative is a positive so 8 plus 3 will be 11 the same here, if you say 1 times negative 2 minus 5 times 3, just put it in brackets. And then it's negative 2 minus 15, which will be negative 17. And then 2 times 2 minus 1 times 4. And 4 minus 4 will be 0. Now, the determinant is a number. It's not a matrix, so a single number. The determinant only exists for square matrices. Okay, so it must be the rows, must be equal to the columns. The determinant can be a negative number. Can you see? There was a negative number. The determinant can be zero, but if the determinant is zero, then we say the matrix is singular. Otherwise, it is not singular. So, very important, the inverse Let's just make the highlighter. The inverse of a matrix will exist only if the determinant is not zero. So if it's zero, then you will not be able to find the inverse. I will show you in the next video how to find the inverse. Okay, let's look at an example. Evaluate the determinant of each matrix. Now very, just put it in brackets, multiply, multiply and subtract. And then this is my answer. The same. Always start from your left. So multiply, multiply, and then just do the calculation. The same here. Negative 1 times 4, subtract. 1 times negative 1, and that's negative 4 minus, and now you can just do normal negative numbers. A negative times a negative will become a positive. So negative 4 plus 1 will be equal to negative 3. Okay, do try now 10, number A, B, and D. Stop the video, and you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start. Number 10, A. Okay, so A was 0, 6, 4, and 5. So basically, if I look at this, and I'm going to find the determinant, I can say the determinant of A, and I'm just going to put it like this. And then I'm going to have, okay, 0 times 5, always start from there, minus 4 times 6, I'm just doing it a little bit long, it's not necessary, minus the 
Okay, so if I look at the first one there, it's going to be minus 24, and my answer is going to be a negative, negative 24. Let's look at the next one. It was number B. So what was B? B was negative 5 and 4 and 3 and 2. So if I want to find the determinant, I'm just going to rewrite it like this. And then I'm going to say negative 5 times 2, remember diagonals, subtract 3 times 4. And that's going to be negative 10 minus 12. And that's going to be negative 22. Every time it's a negative. And then the final one, um, I'm, I'm just going to make space for the final one. And that is going to be, I just want to see it before I write it down. So let's just write it first down. So the final one, what did I ask you to do? I was asking you to do D. So the final one, number D, can take it always blue. And if I look at number D, what was number D? There it is. Okay. So D will be 2 and 7, negative 2 and negative 7. Okay, now I can continue with this one. So I can say to find the determinant, it's going to be, remember, as soon as I put the vertical lines, I do the same here. And then I can go for my normal brackets. So diagonal, so it's 2 multiply negative 7 subtract, always subtract, and start at the top, negative 2 times 7. And that is going to give me negative 14 minus, and put my bracket, and it's again negative 14. Don't forget your brackets. And that is going to give me an answer of zero. It can be zero. Can you remember? But that indicates that this, this matrix will not have an inverse matrix. But I'll show you in the next video.